And mind you, WAC 100 is speaking to DJ academics about the allegations in the federal investigation against P. Diddy for trafficking in XEX crimes. WAC 100 has said everything to justify why it's okay. He even said that he's cool with Diddy and everything is a lie. Called up R. Kelly. R. Kelly said everything is a lie. And we know Diddy and R. Kelly went on tour together. So did Jay-Z. We're waiting for the indoctrination of Jay-Z. And we're going to get to that later. But what's so crazy is... In January of 2023, this is what WAC 100 had to say about allegations against DJ Academics. The next person going to say, well, act me on fucking Twitch and these video game things all day. How we know he ain't, this ain't his attention or this, this, that, and other. But how do we know he didn't just put it out there so motherfuckers can conversate about it? You know, some people think all publicity is good publicity. Good, bad, whatever. Just what they think. But I'm saying... Morally, a lot of us going to say that's bullshit. Like, you shouldn't be saying that. But, as of she just said, New York is one of the states where 16, she's saying, is legal. Is legal, right? Well, so, he's well, from this area. 17, 17, 17. 17? Okay, it's legal. Yeah, mess with so, a 16 year old and see where you end up at. Okay, well, 17. I got so, the age so, wrong, hey, right? Would it be okay for him to mess with your daughter? She, she no, you, you just heard, listen, you just heard me say, right? that morally i'm totally against it but what i'm just i'm just speaking on the open field right now you're in the state where it says that 17 is fucking legal and if the police was to come pause a moral compass is something subjective if whack 100 has been accused of forcing women to eat other other women <laughs> And do what morals do you have so you don't have any morals? That's subjective. You would need to go talk to your mama and figure out how your childhood was to figure out if you have any moralities. Just because you present yourself a certain way in public doesn't mean that that's true. Whack 100 present himself like he the plug and like he can put any and everybody on. And that nigga still ain't make me meet uh, 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 Kanye West. And yes, I'm mad. He had a punk name. I on to interview him when he knew that I would have did a better job. I need to talk some real business. And until then, I'm going to keep my foot on your goddamn neck, Whack 100. How old are you? I'm 32. How old are you? You're 17. They're not going to do anything about it. Mm -mm. Now, we don't sit here and say, well, morally, you shouldn't be doing that. You're this, you're that. And in some instances, we, you, we're going to be right. But the thing is, Wack, you just said less than 24 hours ago that you just found out it's 18 on the federal level. So if the feds come in about SEX crimes, then what you going to do about it? So Wack 100, just because you meet somebody that live in the state of New York that's 17 is consent now, you can't bring them to California and think that you can rock with them because they ID say New York and they from New York and they been sweated out. What you talking about? And again, you use Beyonce concert to get a freak off on oh, and it failed it flopped because don't nobody want your oatmeal pie face ass whack 100 yet again you try out of nikki eh? what y'all call that girl out of what's wrong with nurse nikki i'm trying to get around you i do not want to be around you or rb y'all some y'all recruiting people so y'all can pimp y'all recruiting people so y'all can sexually harass and do all that nasty shit y'all want to do threesomes eating people's out watching people have y'all some nasty keep, keep me the away from that i don't fuck mm -mm. with that shit all oh, that grooming and now you want DJ academics and other people to yell 17 years old but all it takes is one flight itinerary to where that 17 year old girl went to the state of florida or the state of new york or a state where the age of consent ain't nothing and say that she had xcx with dj academics in that state well guess what that was across state lines so now the feds is watching nigga the feds say y'all ain't supposed to be messing with no children under 18 and why the fuck did you mess with an 18 year old girl 17 year old and you condone that you know they three and a half most of them 17 year old girls I ain't nothing but like Christian Rock and you over there playing with Christian Rock and you still can't get that new kid she said no she'd rather give it to blue face daddy and you mad cause you can't whip and taint a 3 year old girl in the head named Christian Rock birds of a feather flock together and all you niggas need to go down just like Diddy you diddlers that's exactly you said that's what it is man yo yo whack I ain't gonna lie you on some Hannibal Burns shit man mm -mm. Yo, I, I don't even remember this happening. I just Googled it. It says later, she says she went back to T.I. and Tiny's hotel room without her friend who was not uh -huh. allowed to join. She says she uh -huh. showered with T.I. and Tiny and they uh -huh. and gave each uh, other massage while naked. She said she uh -huh. said... Oh, you, you need to talk about your own stuff. Talk about what the lady said about you. Every
every time somebody come out with somebody DJ Academic, he drop a tip. You ain't nothing but a big teddy bear and a sugar daddy. Tell the truth, DJ Academic, you invite your homies to pull Houdinis and act like you wanted to hit that, but you know you can't even get it up. I bet you got a room full of poppers with your big ass. You and Wack 100 probably be smashing each other. Nigga be gay lovers. Like him, Birdman, and Finesse two times. Them niggas is lovers. Y'all ain't notice how Wack 100 been chasing Finesse two times ever since he got that BBL. Look at him with his oatmeal pie face having ass. He shaped just like them with that big ass he got. This shit right. He's been up there 37 years, right? Okay, now let's be real. The total opposite of Diddy, but in the same lane as Diddy, meaning his face is his promo, is who act? Birdman, right? Birdman, I told you. you. Look at the media. Right. Listen, if y'all think I'm crazy and conspiracy, go watch the episode of the Boondock. That episode was by Birdman and Lil Wayne and all of them. And here come Wack 100. He cashed money west. And we know Birdman a booty goon. Y'all remember that picture show when he had the little Asian twink that looked like a little woman. And he had the KY Jelly with the little boy wrapped up around him. Around the time when he said he got along with Tony Braxton. Child still try to stay relevant. Girl, Tony get her money. She know Birdman is a woo. Birdman, if he's in a relationship... He's always in a long-term relationship. Am I right? Yeah, from what I know, yeah. He conducts himself, right? But you know the man of the age he is. Diddy, right, is still having fun. He ain't set out yet, bro. He wants to be the man. You sat down, you told your wife that you knew since you was a teenager to death do you apart. And now you trying to find an excuse for Diddy. But Diddy ain't married. You married. You breaking spiritual code and the law. Who the fuck give a fuck about you talking about your moral compass? Nigga, you ain't got no moral compass. You like to groom and sescapade people and shit. Let me see this. Diddy want to be the man, and a motherfucker like Birdman know he is the man. And Diddy is the man, but he don't act like it. So he still does all the shit that he does because he feels he's bigger than the program. Mm. You got one motherfucker that's mature. Stunner, Stunner is his own promo. The biggest marketing tool for Stunner. Diddy Bussy for Stunner, Birdman. And you been getting it. You cashed my blue face. The Carlissa been told it that you wanted to F her son. And now you want to F his girlfriend and all. Like, come on. What's going on? At, you know what? In the face, if you really look at him, he look like a little rat. And if Suge Knight, bitch, you won't be opening your motherfucking beat. Bitch, you paid them white people to come out there to try to knock them out and do all of this. Act like you can fight. I bet you Charleston White will beat your ass with them soup bone arms he got. It's his voice when he shows up just like diddy but you don't hear stunner having all these wild ass parties and every fucking three months is this shit that shit that shit he carries himself like the man he's supposed to right mm -mm. diddy is still running around here nigga like he's 19. <laughs> well okay so by the way did you see that video with him walking around at the airport at opa opalaka um executive? Opa Laka, I seen that. man I seen that. you had to feel bad for him like I, I i felt bad for him i felt it felt like a man the only who... thing i feel bad for is everybody that was with the program and all of a sudden you went with the program the producer started to say all he wanted was his money. I believe if he had been paid, none of this shit. But would ain't have that been a sucker pop. move though? If, if 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 you basically turn, if you turn on a nigga just because you ain't get paid some bread when you could like sue him for the money, don't. Is that a sucker move or is that a dumb move on Diddy? Shit, Diddy had just gave the man his little money he owed him because look what it's costing him now. You gotta stop trying to bully everybody. Everybody ain't gonna fight back the same. Everybody just ain't gonna go away, bro. It's a lot of motherfuckers that got bullied and they just went away or they just tried to file a lawsuit and they end up having to settle, right? But people work, people shut down and do things, right? For pay. Motherfucker didn't see that dude's Instagram. His last six months is everything Diddy. Traveling here, there, working out studio here, here, working on that project. It come time to get paid, and a motherfucker dragging his feet, and you know he got paid. A motherfucker get mad now, depending on who you dealing with, act depending on what the reaction of that anger is gonna be. A motherfucker like me, I'ma lay in this bush. Hey, right? Everybody keep asking about Fonzie or Bentley. I, 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 you know who that is, right? What about Fonzie or Bentley? We, we, he just kind of like faded away. He just never, you know, like he, he got no other secrets. Who's to know he ain't already talking to the people? That right, right. 
you know, hey, that means something. Most prime people fade away because they boxed in or they forced to. Mm. Hey, like, serious question, serious question. You know, I've explained to, like, my audience before that, like, the behavior of Diddy even... Ugh, let's move on. Shout out to y'all for being here. Please hit the like. Please hit the like. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys for being here watching me and being entertained. The least you can do is hit the like. If you watching me and you ain't hit the like, I hate you. And hopefully, I can grow to love you with a simple like. Also, subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notifications are set for always. Support me the best way possible, Replay Gang. And I've been getting a lot of support from Replay Gang. At Cash App, dollar sign, to not 007. A super chat, super sticker if you're watching it line live. Or a super thank you if you are catching the replay. Greatly appreciated, okay? Please hit the like. Please, please, please hit the like. Any money that I do make on YouTube, I will be creating more short film content and productions to establish myself as an independent amongst these people words in hollywood that run the business okay so please support me please 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 and check out my short film so that you guys know that new media which is youtube is not my actual form of entertainment it's like why i'm dopey anyways appreciate you guys appreciate you guys thank you so much please hit the like please hit the like. pretty so I, I the first thing that i thought of yesterday what could they be looking for potentially if this is a sex trafficking investigation um is whether there's videotapes and the camera system, right? Right, and so I think, and I was gonna mention this, digital evidence is key. Obviously, right. in this at this point in time, it's really easy to destroy digital evidence. It's not something that's difficult to do, which is why they went in there um, and went in there simultaneously. Mm. You know, again, you made the comparison to Epstein. I think, you know, Epstein, he was also recording and also had secret cameras, really, throughout all of his homes, private planes, all of that. And, you know, his... But none of that has been disclosed. I'm sorry. The list, they holding back the list, where the camera footage, where's all of this stuff? None of that has been disclosed client list was more about politicians here i think what we're going to see and epstein like i said the first epstein was john wayne gacy john wayne gacy had connection to politicians through his organization that he presented himself to be a humanitarian he was very prominent in the community he he laundered money through a construction company everything very much like epstein very much like diddy this just because john wayne gacy is gone don't mean the agenda don't continue so when you join, you know, different cliques and clubs like Freemasonry, Skulls and Bones, and you find out the Skulls and Bones, the, all these motherfuckers in this lodge, they are part of this, carrying out the John Wayne Gacy agenda. And the Skulls and Bones, in another part, they got some other stuff going on. That's why you got to be careful what lodges you join. Like Hotel California, you got a divine spirit that's been here before they want to. Why do you think I had to get the fuck away from Freemasonry? But anyways, they want you to be a part and they blackmail you into being a part of it. Our clients involved in the uh, entertainment business or pop culture, if you will. And so I do think um, right now this is going to be a huge web that they're going to have to untangle. And I'm expecting it's going to take quite some time to go through all of that digital evidence because I fully expect that he had cameras in other locations as well. It's my understanding that th those aren't just his two sole places of residence and where he spends time so i suspect there will be more digital evidence and by the way before we get into the substance of any of these lawsuits um if diddy left the country right uh if the reporting is indicated that he fled or left um that would signify to me she was tipped off right i mean Anytime right. you have somebody, and again, we don't know if he was detained. We don't know if he was arrested. I would think not. Wouldn't that information have come out? Um, because a part of me thought that he might have been detained, put in one of those transport vehicles, maybe brought in. We just didn't know about it. I, I imagine we might know about it today. Maybe not. I'll ask you. But also, if he had left the country, um, that means someone tipped him off. And I think that would be of a concern, right? Oh, of course, that would be a concern. I was looking at the flight log um, of, I believe he has a Gulf Stream. Yeah. Um, it looks to me like that plane landed in Antigua in at about 9 a.m. So yeah. actually, that would have been before this raid occurred, right? So then you would have a difficult time saying, you know, he, he was tipped off. So I thought it left Van Nuys Airport 
by 9 a.m. and then landed over there. Like, so this lady has her information mixed up. He's leaving because of the raid. And we don't know if he's on it. We don't know if he's on knows, that plane right? or what the deal is. We don't yeah. know who the passengers are on the plane. You just know that it's traveling somewhere. Well, lot people have private planes and they use them for things other than when they are on them, right? And so we also know, too, that he was at the Miami airport. There was footage of him kind of seen pacing on the phone. I believe that if they had a specific warrant for him, but again, this is just me speculating. Sure. I believe if they had a specific warrant for him, they would have probably arrested him at that point in time. I'm not saying that an arrest isn't going to be forthcoming, but I truly believe, and I said this last night when I was speaking with you, that the execution of these warrants was really about the preservation of evidence. Um, and it is gone. That evidence is in the Gulf of Mexico, Curtis is the love at LLC. And all them Negroes that work with Diddy. They dropped that in the ocean. Ain't no evidence. So all of these, you know, like John Wayne Gacy or any of these serial killers, they would keep something that belongs to that particular individual. Something that they would expect that person to have. Like it can be something as simple as a, a, a couple of strands of hair, which is DNA evidence tied to the person. If they could, you know, pull it through the hair or a house key or something as a token of representation for remembering that particular individual. A lot of these serial killers, the way they think, they never really receive love. And so they do these things to these people saying that because they love them. And now that they didn't did all of this, they might as well just unalive them or whatever the case may be. Uh, gang initiation. And then they might as well just get rid of them because they took it too far because of them drugs, them pills. You know, we just seen Mahogany Jackson. What happened when they was on lean? Lean is older these people. These people's on two shit. Them reptilians come out. Of, put some gay lizards in the chat. Lucy and Gri Edge, you know. They come out of their motherfucking shell. Be blackmailing people. Nigga don't know what's happening. Look at what happened to Meek Mill. Y'all heard that they, they with Meek Mill. That was atrocious. It was a shame what I heard. Listen to this, child. Uh, All the champagne was spiked, son. Like, all the champagne was spiked. Everybody was passed the fuck out. I don't drink. I don't drink, so I was playing that shit off. Like, I don't fucking drink. I smoke, nigga. Like, I smoke and I have my own weed, but, <laughs> like, everybody was passed out. Yo, did he have that man in the room? Look, yes. I put my ear to the fucking door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the fuck was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against ass cheeks. I heard niggas struggling to take dick. I heard niggas <laughs> being like, yeah, daddy. Like, when, when, I, when, when he started... Is Wack 100 a diddler? 90% of y'all said yes, of course. 10% said no, you need more proof. Shout out to Honey, e, Honey EBT, bitch. Talking about Honey ENT. All y'all bitches on EBT. Don't even take care of your kids or anything, ho. Y'all ain't no good. Y'all be on Clubhouse banging, working for somebody that you think gonna give you opportunity. Whack my honey ain't got shit for y'all. But a Beyonce concert in a freak nick, like what you do with R&B. Meek Misha. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, like, y'all. Anyways, is this Meek Mill? <laughs> All the champagne was spikes. Hello, that did listen. That didn't sound like that didn't sound like Meek Mill to me. I'm sorry. That that didn't sound like him. That sounded like somebody that got one of his songs. The back broke. The hand broke. The leg. The toes toes curled up. <laughs> All the champagne was spiked, son. Like all oh, the champagne shit. was spiked. Everybody was passed the fuck out. I don't drink. I don't drink, so I was playing that shit off. Like, I don't fucking drink. I smoke, nigga. Like, I smoke and I have my own weed, but, like, everybody was passed out. Yo, did he have that man in the room? Look, yes. I put my ear to the fucking door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the fuck was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against ass cheeks. Oh, damn. First, but that nigga, this nigga that's telling the story is crusty. You better hire the white people. Oh, not to be a drug mule because that white boy for the turf is on your goddamn ass. 
And talk about how you carry drugs internationally and everything. They finna hit Diddy with a cartel charge. Watch this shit. Unless about arresting him, I suspect that may come at a later time. Why the manpower? And the reason I, I, I'm going to take a guess, I'm going to take a stab at this, is because I go back to what I read in the lawsuits. Again, the lawsuits are lawsuits. They're allegations. But his ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura. And, you know, I looked at my demographics earlier, and I do know that most of my demographics are people that was at Freak Nick. All y'all need to be hit with a freak -o. And putting them generation curses. Ain't no need for y'all calling y'all kids, your grandkids, no hot tamales, hoes, and all of that shit. Because they get it from you. Y'all are disgusting. Whoever the fuck put, yes, I want to see the video proof. You're disgusting. Why would you want to see some shit like that? Son, I think, boy, y'all, all y'all need, that's why y'all attracted to the Diddy. Shit, Diddy, y'all, niggas like Diddy probably didn't hit you. And y'all have been in the same situation. Then you want to look and project your shit on the Diddy. Come out with your own motherfucking story. She filed the lawsuit against him in November of 2023. She ended up settling, but she accused Diddy of not only physically and sexually abusing her, for allegedly for forcing her into sexual slavery and sex trafficking, but she claimed that he beat her, forced her to have sex with prostitutes on video while mm -mm. he watched and masturbated, but also forced her to carry a gun for him. She also alleged that Combs blew up rapper Kid Cudi's car because he found out that Cudi was romantically interested in Ventura. Then, in one of the latest lawsuits that I mentioned from Little Rod Jones, Jones brings up this event, a shooting that happened at Chalice Record Studios out in uh, Los Angeles, where apparently he says there was a heated fight between Combs. His son, Justin, who was actually handcuffed yesterday, or the reporting indicates he was handcuffed, and Justin's friend identified as G. Gunshots rang out. G was lying on the ground with blood coming out of his leg and hip area. Combs allegedly told his team to tell police that he had nothing to do with the shooting. And then Jones in the lawsuit provided... But that's the whole system. The in order to substantiate that, you need to look into LAPD. You know how big this go? I'm telling you, these rings... Uh, uh, John Wayne Gacy All of these people are down with this Especially the Democratic Party Bloodstained bathroom where he claims G was shot By either Combs or his son And claims he still has the clothing For evidence Now again I say all that to believe If they think that they're entering into a violent environment Right? Let me go back a little bit They, they yeah. absolutely would have every reason to believe That they're going into what? a violent environment and, You know really that his history with violence And firearms goes back pretty far Even into the time when he was Wait, hold on, you guys. I'm probably being trolled, but I just got a text message saying that Diddy committed suicide. Allegedly, I just got a text message saying that. I don't believe it. I need a verified source to publish it, like TMZ or somebody saying that Diddy committed suicide. I'm not going to believe it just yet. I'm not, and I don't want you to believe it, but... I wanted to point it out and, and put a time code to say that I got the text message and I'm and, and I said it. Child, that's a shame. We gotta say it first is the nigga kill themselves. We black people, we too toxic. He was dating Jennifer Lopez. Right. Um, there were um, you know, that had occurred as well. I believe it was at a nightclub. There was a shooting there as well that he was involved in, although it could be incorrect. No, no, so, no. I, and by the way, in one of the latest lawsuits, that is brought up and basically right. the allegation was that uh, Diddy was involved in that shooting, but had right. someone cover for him. Cover for him. Yeah. And that's how I had recalled that as well. And so they had every reason to believe at the FBI. And again, FBI is not HSI, but they operate the same in terms of how they're executing warrants and things of that nature. If you believe you're going into a hostile environment. Hold on, pause. Environment, you are going to bring your special teams with you, whether that's a SWAT team, those kinds of things, they're going to come with you. And so the fact that his sons were handcuffed, and I know there was a lot of discussion about that, about how it wasn't fair, that's actually very proper procedure, and that's to ensure the safety of everyone. Um, his sons are adults, uh, they are known to have weapons, they may not have been arrested, but handcuffing them until you are sure that the home is secure and all weapons are secure is actually a very valid and very normal thing to do. Additionally, so you have that with the, with the history of violence and weapons, there's no question. But then you also have teams that have to go in there and process all of that digital evidence that we just talked about. So you have these massive SWAT and tactical teams going in to disarm, and then you also have agents going in there to collect evidence. So th that is why this is such a large group of people. Also, you know, Jesse, I'm, I'm from LA. This, this area in Holmby Hills, where one of his homes were, is massive. 
So you need a lot of agents to cover that the entirety of that area. So it's, it's actually not surprising. And we actually don't know. I mean, I saw reporting that it might actually be associated with the bad boy films production like that might right. be the home. So, again, maybe it's I don't know if it's personal. Yeah. Bad boys film production. The same home that Oprah Winfrey, Harvey Weinstein and Rita Ora was in that time when Oprah took the pitch and Harvey was reaching for her. The same house that myself and thousands of other actors then went to. And ain't no telling what they did. Me. I was like Uncle Luke. Bitch, I'm leaving early. I'm leaving before 2 a.m. Bitch, I'm act like I'm tired. I know what happened. Shit, I was a go-go boy in South Florida. The bars closed at 2 a.m., so I got home and made sure I was good and tired to go home and that I was going to be a party pooper. Don't invite me to no after party. Somebody came out and said Diddy had a busload of kids coming to his house at 3 a.m. in the morning. Residents or it's one of his company's properties. I agree. That's what I had saw as well is yeah. that maybe the registered owner is, is that. <sighs> That's difficult, right? Because the reality is, is he owns that production company. Sure, sure. So, yes, of course, yeah. You know, and so um, the reality is, is that it's still associated with him right. as he is the owner of that company. So, look, it may not be his primary residence. I have no idea, um, obviously, but at the same time, it is a company that is known and documented to be associated with him and right. his sons were there and let's talk about the sons justin and king combs um so we saw this video what appeared to be them in handcuffs um i said it yesterday on on um when i was seeing this and i you said it too not necessarily they are hold on listen i don't have to say allegedly when it comes to me saying what the whole world seen i saw a young man come out and say that did he have kids and bust load of people coming in his house at 3 a.m i seen it you seen it i don't have to say allegedly the person who said it needed to say allegedly otherwise i'm just giving commentary and reporting the news that's all we doing you can't stop freedom of press arrested and charged with a crime uh, but they could be just detained while the search is happening. Now, I say that, but, again, the first thing that I thought was the little Rod Jones lawsuit. And one of the things he talks about how it was how he alleges that this past summer, July 2nd, 2023, out in California, claims that Combs had a party with underage girls and sex workers at his home. And his son and look at Cuban Gooden Jr. Yeah, Cuban Gooden Jr. He a freak. I remember I was represented by this talent agent named Blair Cotton. The agency represented Cuban Gooden Jr. Went to an event one time. Hey, what's up? We're represented by the same agency. That don't give you no license to touch me, Cuban. I don't care about you. Matter of fact, Cuban, you look too much like my brother. I got a brother that look just like you. Why is you reaching at me? I thought me and you was gonna be homies and bros. Why is you reaching at me, Cuban Gooden Jr.? Next thing you know, my agent terminates me. My relationship with my agent is gone because i seen cuban get a junior and said we represented by the same agent you felt like you could violate me and my agent fired me you bitch ass nigga r&b artists were there quote he is a grammy award-winning r&b singer who had trouble with law enforcement after assaulting a bahan billionaire are screenshots of a video taken of this party where it allegedly shows combs either kissing or dancing almost face to face with a purported underage girl. So many times in this latest lawsuit, his son is implicated in this alleged wrongdoing. I believe, just like I do believe that charges for Diddy are forthcoming, I believe that charges for his sons most likely are as well. Now, given the raid and when it occurred, if they were in illegal possession of firearms based on California gun laws, then they could have probably taken them into custody right then and there for obvious reasons. I don't think that that's what they're going to do. I suspect that they were simply detained for the duration of the search and then they were let go. But again, I, I'm simply hypothesizing here, but I do think at this point, if his sons had been arrested and formally booked, we would know probably at this point right. based on public access to those documents and we don't know that information and so i just assume that for the safety of everyone there they were physically detained during the duration of the search which again is very normal procedure in, in something like this yeah, I'll fucking there killing me obviously been a lot of reaction and a lot of response to that including in the celebrity route i mean 50 cent Posted on uh, Instagram about the raid. That ain't now my nigga. I like 50 Cent. I know I can be completely honest. 
to like this nigga still have a chance at Hollywood. Nigga, 50 Cent, my nigga. He gonna throw the fuck now out of anybody. Did he do it? It's Diddy done. They don't come like that unless they got a case. Mm-mm. Speaking of that, so if we think about He should know all about it when uh the feds went out the herb, got in murder ink, and Ja Rule was financially deprived. His ass, that's when he decided to strike. 50 Cent is a brilliant man. Out the possibility of a sex trafficking investigation, sex trafficking related charges. If we go to December 2023, uh, there was a woman who accused Combs and former Bad Boy Entertainment president Harvey Pierre uh, and another person of sex trafficking and gang raping her when she was 17 years old. Um, there was a Jane Doe who says that she was flown from Michigan to New York City, supplied with drugs and alcohol, and then assaulted by all three men at Combs' recording studios. Now, Combs, by the way, has always denied the allegations. And in fact, in response to one lawsuit, I had posted, I believe it was on Instagram, enough is enough. The last couple of weeks, I've sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do, and he goes on to say, did not do this. Now, uh, again, that was in relation to a lot of these lawsuits being filed. But when we're talking about sex trafficking, Tracy, and we're talking about the Southern District of New York possibly initiating this search warrant. Where does your mind go in terms of what we might be looking at in terms of potential charges, potential allegations, uh, and how it's connected to New York? So I absolutely believe, and again, simply my hypothesis, he is innocent until proven guilty that he will be um, arrested and indicted on sex trafficking charges. I have no doubt um, about that. And I do believe that he was most likely the kingpin um, of this. These girls, what that tells me, if it's out of the Southern District of New York, is this is spanning multiple states um, and that he is trafficking or allegedly trafficking girls um, across multiple states, across the United States. This isn't just an isolated incident um, in one location. And so I have heard um, things as well about his Hamptons parties and things happening Mm. in those Hamptons parties as well. So I suspect um, more evidence may come out as a result of that. But these are extremely serious uh, charges. And mind you. And mind you, they've been focused on the L.A. raid in the new in the Miami raid. I told y'all his Hampton house in New York got raided too, but they didn't publish that. And this lady, look at her. She looked like you know, fuck you and your Hampton spouse. I fuck your Hampton wife in her Hampton blouse ass bitch. She'd have been a diddy freak off. Look at her with that big old mouth. Fit a soda can in it, bitch. You'll put look in the same girl. Part of me too is frustrated um, by somewhat the complacency, right, of the entertainment industry as a whole um, in this. Uh, And I think sometimes people fly under the radar for a long time, like Epstein did as well, um, because people are scared. Uh, People want to still climb the ranks. And we're doing it all the while sort of sacrificing the safety of these these young victims or girls that are involved in this. And that is deeply troubling. (laughs) Before we get into Hello, more of no. this, I, I, I hear you don't love me. Y'all don't love me because I don't see no stars in the chat. And I ain't got two. I ain't got that many likes. I hate y'all because y'all don't like my fucking video. Bitch, you better like my motherfucking video. Don't be coming up here telling me you love me and you ain't like my video. You And, and I, I think, you know, it's really, really frightening to think about. I mean, I read all these allegations and the lawsuits and I was, I've never heard anything like it. Um, and obviously we don't know exactly where this investigation is going but if combs is charged with federal crimes here but he's not in the country and he's actually in a country uh, or a jurisdiction where there's no extradition agreement how do you get him back how Child, please listen you think it was a literal accident for them to put the information out and say russell Oh, uh, Simmons got served in a country where he say ain't no extradition. Yeah, right. A lay person, I can fly over there and serve you documents, and then the United States got jurisdiction over you. So they send the P Diddy a bird call. No matter where you at, you better go to Antarctica, down there in the devil lives with your daddy, all this crime that you done did on the world. Y'all know the in video in Antarctica when the devil down there screaming like the Titans release the Titans when hell freezes over. Is where he need to go. That's over there in Antarctica. That's the only way you're going to get rid of these people. And even then, your black ass going to freeze to death, so they ain't going to care about you. Maybe they're going to make a statue out of you and act like walking to Antarctica is like walking on the moon to go see Diddy, who froze to death or blew his goddamn brains out because he was a weak-ass nigga that did all of this shit that these people said he did. What do federal authorities do? 
That's a really good question. And I looked up just because I was curious actually about Antigua. Yeah. I don't know all of them off the top of my head. Some I do, some I don't. Um, but we do have an extradition treaty <laughs> with them. Um, right now, though, because of the public nature of this, I have a very hard time believing that a country would allow his plane to land. Yeah, I'm sick of it. Put some stars in the chat. Oh, I need to get a rocket emoji, bitch. We finna send him to another galaxy since he want to be high all the time and do all these crimes against these people that just want to beat them bitch you high uh, then a gay lizard trying to take over this place and this planet and we finishing all y'all back out there to orbit him on it in their country they don't have to let him land if they don't want to and so i think that it would be very difficult for him to be able to land in an inhospitable country simply because they don't want him we do mm -mm. have extradition treaties with more countries than i think people would think and typically, they will send folks back to us as long as we take the death penalty off of the table. Mm -mm. And I don't believe that this is a death penalty case. It's Southern District of New York. And so I believe that whether we have an extradition treaty or not with whatever country he may or may not go to, um, they will send him back. And talk to me about what you think they have in terms of a case. Because, right, you, you say they want to preserve the evidence for a potential uh, uh, prosecution against either him or someone else. There's a criminal case building. But they had to have probable cause for the search warrant uh, to be issued. And I wonder, you know, I mentioned some of the interviews. They wouldn't have had enough to just to try to arrest him first and then do the raid, or they need the raid first to see what's at the. Of course, they need they the raid the first. And build charges and then arrest him. Talk to me about the timeline of how this typically works in terms of if we're seeing a, a raid on several properties. Does that in conjunction with an arrest? Does that come before an arrest? Uh, does that uh, you know how does it typically work? Typically, Jesse, it's in conjunction with an arrest. But I started thinking about this a little bit more last night, and I was, was thinking that if he has videos and or his associates have videos, and they are attempting to distribute those of young male children or female mm -hmm. children, that means that a child is in imminent danger. Mm -hmm. And so part of me wonders if this was done to stop that um, and that they will get to the arrest obviously at some point um because you know as you mentioned typically these these warrants are served and there's usually an indictment that goes you know hand in hand with that at the same time so in my opinion it's not unheard of it's just a little bit unusual we don't typically right. see this anytime we did raids um at the fbi of, of this nature we ha also had an arrest warrant uh for the individual as well and so it is unusual but i don't want to say it's unheard of and again i'm just speculating but part of me wonders if this was still actively being distributed. Um, and if it is, they need to shut that down immediately. Were you surprised at the response that we saw from Douglas Wigdorf? This is a lawyer for Cassie Ventura and one of the Jane Doe's in response to reports of this search warrant that was issued on Sean Combs. Now, remember, Cassie Ventura settled with Sean Combs, but the statement says, quote, we will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Now, again, in so, light of that settlement, settlement doesn't necessarily mean you're saying Combs is completely innocent. It's you've agreed to resolve the issue. Um, doesn't, you know, absolve him of wrongdoing. But to make that statement, I think that's something to be said. Now, again, of course, he's representing someone else that's continually uh, suing uh, Sean Combs. But again, that that statement I thought was really interesting. What was your take on it? Yeah, I thought that that statement was interesting. Um, my my question about it, though, is did he tip them off? Did he provide them with information? Um, you know, did Cassie Ventura or any of these individuals involved in these civil suits also provide evidence along with that to build this criminal case, because obviously those two things are separate. So in my opinion, in listening to that statement, it actually sounds like maybe they did. Um, and, you know, that's incredible that they did that. Um, the Department of Justice has the right to investigate any legal complaint, especially if it's in a federal court. Commercial sex acts. Um, I would imagine that if this is a really big operation, we could potentially see uh, arrests of other individuals connected to uh, the rapper, right? I agree. I think um, we will probably see the arrest of one or both of his sons because I, I believe that they, based on evidence in cases that we've seen in the past from a civil perspective, they have been 
allegedly involved in this. But at the same time, too, um, I think that there may be a lot of people who have associated with him um, in his circle that are probably scared right now um, because they may have had some involvement in this as well. And so in my opinion, I think they will start at the top, obviously arresting Diddy um, or his sons. And from there, in my opinion, they may try to plea. I don't think he's going to completely avoid jail time. No, they got the white boy, ma'am. They got the white boy. That's all they needed. Look at Bobby Brown. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen when Lil Rod said P. Diddy would sacrifice his own mama to get what he want? Well, guess what Bobby Brown did? The wife and both of his kids. Child boy, please, Bobby Brown. And you still look like a broke clock artery with no goddamn talent, Bobby Brown. Why did you sacrifice Whitney and your kids?